Rolling Stone Beachfront Resort is on 32 tropical acres. This patch of paradise overlooks Palm and Havana Islands and is only 40 minutes drive north of Townsville. It's perfect for us for a weekend getaway. There is a choice of accommodation including holiday villas, caravan park and camping ground with powered and non-powered sites. Somebody's asked us to have a look around the van, so we're going to show you and we're going to start off with the kitchen first. So, here it is. Here's Craig. <laughs> Hello. Um, yeah, so just running through some of the controls first, I guess. So, yep, if you want to. This one point. here is the Truma Hot Water System. And you've got a 60 uh, degree or 70 degree option. So you either click up or down for that or in the neutral position, which would be in the middle here. Right. This is a 240 volt outlet for the inverter. And yet I mainly use that for my coffee machine, which is up here. And then we've got a, this is the, main switch for the airbag suspension which is now in the off position or you can put it into the neutral position which is automatic for the car which raises it to the uh, normal ride height or you can switch it on to the manual which you use this there. hand remote control which is you can change it from different heights to sort of around the camp sort of height and then if you need to level out your campsite, it's all manual through that. Okay, and, and this is the main... This is the Red Arc uh, battery management system. system. Yep. And it just basically shows uh, the water tank levels, the battery, where we're sitting at the moment is about 50%. We're charging through mains power. You've got the fridge on, the water pump on, which we can probably turn off. Then you've got your yellow lights for bugs to around the camp so that they aren't sort of... Um, Flying around. Yeah, bugging you too much. Oh yeah, here's the yellow light up here. And then you can change that back to the white light. Yep. Or back to yellow, whichever you prefer. And then it just shows our two water tanks and how much, sort of, what levels they're at. And we've got a bit of a, a little uh, fan here, which cools the fridge space. And then it goes into a whole lot of other jargon that I don't really understand yet. <laughs> We're still working it out. We're still learning. But this is our fridge. It's a 75 litre kick-ass fridge. Yes. So part of it's fridge. Don't be a Derek. And um, the other part is freezer. Um, so yeah, the kitchen has lots of storage. Um, we've got these cupboards, they're easily locked like that. Um, so yeah, we just put various things up there. One thing that we did add to the van was this little light above the kitchen here. Um, mostly we use it on yellow or orange um, so the bugs don't come in. But you know, you can have a bit of a party or a bit of a disco with that. And across here is the bench, um, sink. 
where we have hot and cold water. Um, also, we've got a TV mount so we can watch TV at night time or during the day, I guess. So these are the water tanks here and here. We have 200 litres, so we've got one for 140 litre tank and one 60 litre tank. Um, and also down here, um, Craig put a hose on the outlet. This is for from the sink, um, so that we can run the water away from our campsite. And this is our little stove area. It's just a little gas one for the time being, but it works fine. And up here we have our bottle opener um, and this little magnetic thing. So it catches all the, all the bottle tops. That's something that we sort of added. And we also added, got this um, paper towel rack added as well. So down here we have a space for our cutlery um, and more storage space for plates and cups and things. So I'm just in the change room at the moment, just showing you around. And that's our bedroom back there. I'll just flip it so that you can see. Um, we'll go up inside. So towards the back there, oh, this is our bed. It's a bit messy, but we've got a few pillows in here. Um, and there's cupboards up the back for our clothes. And then in the corner here, uh, we have reading lights and some little pockets to put phones um, and glasses and whatever you want basically in there. There's another one on the other side. And we have USB points uh, to charge the phones at night time. At the moment we've just dumped the TV on the bed. We did have it in the kitchen, but we can put it up into the bedroom. So that's the mount for it. So it goes up on the wall. And I'll just take this off. That's just a headlamp. But here we've got um, sockets uh, for the TV and up here is the exhaust fan and that just helps create the um, airflow in the van and we have a Sirocco fan here and this is our bedroom window with a block out screen and midgy mesh yeah so um, we haven't felt the heat in this at all um, it gets really good airflow through here it is still only spring so we'll see how it goes in summer but honestly uh, we have a big doona on the bed here and i'm still wearing a uh, track suit <laughs> so yeah we're not hot at all it's very cool i'll just pull out all these pillows out of the way so we've got a cupboard here and two cupboards and inside we've just got you know some more bedding blankets and clothes this is the door it um, has a like a security screen on it and you can also lock it from the inside you can lock it from the outside as well um, so you can have that all locked and still have airflow through and then this little door when you're you know you've left the van um, you can lock it up entirely so it's very secure the little ladder here up into the uh, bedroom and this ladder can also be used outside where you can fully extend it and um, use it to get on top of the roof
Facilities include three catch and release lakes, beachfront fishing, a camp kitchen, jumping pillow, BMX track, basketball court, pool and cocktail bar. And Saturday nights are oven cooked pizza nights where you can enjoy a pizza and a few cocktails and the local talent on the outdoor stage.